Hey guys, how are you all doing? My name is Alex and welcome to Neo Adobe Audition CSX tutorial and in this video, uh, wait, wait, first of all, I'm going to thank you guys, every single one of you, because I just got verified, as you can see at the bottom, like next to my name, I have the little, uh, the little check mark. I just got verified last week and I, it's all because of you guys, because you guys are watching my videos and you guys are actually made, made this possible. You guys have been on my channel, you have been supporting me, watching my videos and everything combined just uh, made me meet the requirements for getting verified. So that's basically what I want to say um, at first. Thank you all, every single one of you um, for just supporting me and you know getting me verified. It means the world to me. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to export your audio or music to MP3 format so, so you guys will know um, how to properly export it. Yeah, I would say let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, we are on a multi-track session as you can see right here. And basically, I'm gonna, uh, I need to record some audio first to be able to render it out. And if the people wanna know like how to record, check the link in the description so you can check that out. So I'm just gonna click and make everything ready for record. That's my microphone as you can see. I think I'm gonna go right now. Okay, right now as you can see the sound waves. So this is just a test, a audio test, or you know, just a recording that I can export to MP3 to show it to you guys. So yeah, this is how to do it. Okay, that's the recording. Let's uh, play it back. Okay, right now as you can see the sound waves. So this is just a test, a audio test or you know, just a recording that I can export to MP3 to show it to you guys. So yeah, this is how to do it. Okay. All right, so as you, as you heard, um, this is just the audio. So I'm just gonna uh, like edit a little bit. Like just, I want to uh, cut away this beginning so that I will talk, uh, start to talk immediately like this. Just a little fade in from, this, from the audio, as you can see right here right now. Okay, right now, as you can see, Okay, right now as you, you can, can hear though. So, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to export this. So just let's say we just finished editing, and uh, I'm just gonna end it right here. Yeah, this is how to do it. This is how to do it. I'm just gonna click and select this, press on delete, and let's just say a little quick fade out so you guys will let you know like just that it, that it will just fade to complete silence. So as you can hear right, uh, this is what it sounds like. So yeah, this is how to do it. Boom, that's it. So right, right now, so in order to manage to do this correctly and to export this, you need to select everything. So you just wanna, at the end, you just wanna click, you wanna hold your left mouse button and you wanna drag it everything and you wanna select everything. And if you hold control and you just scroll out, you can see whatever you, what you selected. So you can just say like, oh, I forgot a piece, just put your mouse on this little icon and then you can drag it as far as you want. So I'm just gonna put it like right here, that's okay. And um, okay, so to need to, in order to render it out, you need to um, you know like select it first, and then when you have selected everything and you're done editing with effects and everything, you just sort of like okay, boom, I'm gonna export this. The next thing you want to do, you want to click on File, Export, Multitrack, Mix Down, and this here you can choose what you want to export. Like, do you want to export everything, like even the things you not selected? You will render that out if you pick um, like entire session. But if you just you know want to render out everything that's just that you selected you just want to click on time selection okay and then this window pops up and this is where you're going to fill in all the information so the file name let's say we want to give this a name such as audition c6 export test okay the location we're just going to pick my background Boom, that's it. And then here you can choose your format. And this is the part where you want to select MP3. So you just want to click on this drop down menu and you want to just pick MP3 in the list, MP3 audio. In order to pick the highest, highest quality possible, you want to click on change. And then you want to put this from 192 to 320, oh, just 320. That's the highest quality you can get. Press an OK. At the bottom, as you can see, it says include markers and other metadata, but I'm just gonna, I don't pay attention to it. Um, but it says like open files after export. So you can choose if you want to play it back once it's rendered. I'm just gonna come, okay. So I just filled in my title where I'm gonna save it, the location, uh, the formats, and then just the, the sample, you know, the format settings, just the highest possible. You're pretty much done. You just wanna press on okay. It will start exporting. And as you can see, it's done really fast because it's like just a few seconds of this. But if you have like a few songs, it's gonna take a few minutes. Um, so basically, so that's what's in with this guy. So if you wanna see more of this, I would open the auditions.
So if you want to see more of those Adobe Audition CS6 tutorials every Monday and Friday at 12 p.m. PST on my channel, uh, make sure to smash that subscribe button down below. And if you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. That's always appreciated. And as I always say, thank you guys for watching and, th and for the continuous support and liking and commenting on all my videos. So well, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on a new Adobe Audition CS6 tutorial this Friday at 12 p.m. PST. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys this Friday. In about uh, four episodes, it's going to be the 22nd of May, and then I find something else. When I started using video editing software, it was like, I have my own Patreon page. You have fucking troll. Channelpages.com. Kind of nice weather. And I'm a tie with just Alex Halford. You know, it's his channel, so that's a bit of a logic.